Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Omega Gingy, and welcome back to Skull and Bone. You didn't look before me. Yeah. Oh, probably, I think, nine. And then, did some cleaning and stuff. Had the, um, housing coming through for the inspection. Well, we, like, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but, like, I'm working, and so is Lindsay. So we're like, well, My forge is at, your at least go tonight instead, because, like, I'm off work, and, like, me after. Yeah. Because, like, we could, we could go out to eat after I'm done work, but by the time, like, we get to a restaurant, it'd be, like, 7 o'clock, and my daughter goes to bed at 8. So it's like, we gotta get home and... Like get her bath and dress and, and I'll craft you the most we even get home before like after her bedtime, so that and because again like it's Valentine's Day, so you gotta like figure out like where you're gonna go and if they're actually not booked. Well that's exactly right. Alright. Oh yeah. All oh, right, that's what I was doing. I was gonna go find the blueprint so I can make the bar bombs because I just built the like You're not so third ship oh, you can build. Let's see which ship, ship was it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I pre-ordered uh, South Park Snow Day at work. Ah, oh, nice. That comes out thirty bucks, man. <laughs> yeah, that comes out next month, doesn't it? Yeah, it's in March. I mean, I didn't pay for it, I just put it on my account, make sure I get a copy when it comes in. Yeah, I'll look at it at the end of the month, grabbing that. Brigades, level 1, cost year. The thing is, like, for 30 bucks, even if I only played a handful of times, it's fine. Man, it really sucks you can't sell the ships you don't use. I understand not being able to sell them, but like, let me bust them down into parts. Yeah. Like, you know, bust it up into wood. Because, yeah, like, I don't use them. Like, there's no point to using them. Like, when you level up your, like, upgrade to another ship. Uh, the one I just upgraded to is. So, I had the Sentinel, which has, like, um,. A main sail and like a front sail and a back sail, which is really nice. But it's still it's still a classified as a small ship. And the one I just upgraded to was the one after that, which is still a small ship, but it's a barge. Okay. It's called a Firebrand. Uh, it's got one main sail. Uh, it's a lot faster, and it actually has a uh, a back weapon now. So I have like. I can fire cannons from behind me or fire mortars from behind me now. Sweet. Yeah. Well, over you now. I am. Um, I don't actually know if your character has a level. My ship is level four. Oh, okay. Uh, just because of like the cannons and stuff. Like, it's all like. Um, uh, your ship level is like like gear score and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so my ship is level 4. So I could basically say I'm level 4. Um, mainly just, yeah, due to the fact of, like, my guns. Let's see, 38. Like, all my guns are 38s. Except my uh, bombardment. Like, my back cannons are level 15. Bombardment. Yeah, mama, I can bar them. <laughs> Fucking Simpsons. <laughs> that and like, yeah, the armor. Let's see. I just, <laughs> I, I had, I found the iron hull out of a chest, and I just did a quest to get another iron hull. Like an iron husk armor. And it's the same fucking one, too. To 
the recipes you find are probably based on the current level of your ship at the time. So it scales. Yeah. I don't think you're going to find shit like super high quality right now. No, probably or not. Zones, or like zone levels probably will determine what, what loot level shit is. Um, I know that around my area where I'm right now in like the starting zone, I can come across like level 3 ships which I can't break into yet. Because I don't have up to level 2 gear. Um, but when you look at look at stuff like um, how to get the blueprint or stuff instead of having to like look it up. Like where's this blueprint for um, how to craft bombard ammo for example. It actually tells you where to find like clues. Like if I have it unlocked okay. it's like clue. Found in the red aisle. And then purchased from the purchased from some dude, and you can track the blueprint, and it'll actually tell you on the map where you gotta go. As I did that with um, the ship I have, because you gotta like go and get the materials, and then come back. And I had like five grand. And I'm down to a thousand now. I was actually less until I completed that uh, mission. Oh yeah, should I get a chest I got open? Open chest, what do we got? A renegade necklace, notorious pants, and some leggings. I got some clothes. Read the treasure map. Run. Hell bomb armed. <laughs> Yee. The fuck out. Um, Where's the kaboom? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where's look. the kaboom? The earth shattering kaboom. Now he's gonna say you look you just look up like what the boom? Nothing will beat that fucking ICBM explosion we saw twice now. Yes. It's just such a shock. I'm like, oh, it, it's gone. It's in the distance now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I didn't think it was actually going to blow up. So happy. Oh, yeah. One other thing I found out is um, stuff in your warehouse when you go to sell won't show up in the actual, like, your inventory as far as I can tell. I'm not sure if yeah, there's a way to actually I knew change that. that. You, had to, you had to go take it out. I knew that already from the beta. Yeah. That's kind of like a bummer. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, I'll transfer that because I don't need it. Transfer this. Yeah, I have so much like broken. Where did I put that? <laughs> I have so much broken gear and stuff. Cause I was just like collecting everything, like broke it, like all the scrap metal. Fire to help. Funny thing is, uh, what was it, uh, Martin? Or Mar yeah, Martin the Martian. Marvin. Or Marvin. Yeah. Um, yeah, Martin's his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin. Um, his whole, like, that episode where he's, like, wanting to blow up the Earth because, of, like, it's in front of, um, there's a queen who wants to see, I think, Mars. Uh, that, that whole, like, uh, part, I took that inspiration from, um, uh, I took that from, like, took that, and when I wrote, uh, my attack of the, uh, the pennies back in, uh, my grade 8 for a fucking book report, I wrote attack of the pennies. And that was the whole base of the fucking story, was that they were trying to blow up Earth so the Queen could see Mars. I don't know, she wanted to see Jupiter or some shit like that. 
I think his wires blowing up Earth. Oh wait, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, I got the um, blueprint. I bought the blueprint for fire babards. See you nerds, I'm out. Which are a whole lot better than the ones I actually have. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'll make those. Oh yeah, definitely better, definitely better. And they add fire. Well, I definitely got my fucking daily done for the... Kill those assholes, because... Fire! I must have already killed about 10 in this mission alone. <laughs> oh. They're not so bad once you realize they can't turn around very fast. And if you shoot the pilot, they're done. Yeah. It just sucks that you can't uh, hijack them when, once you kill the pilot. Oh, we got a trophy called For the Greater Good. Kill 5,000 enemies. For the greater good. For the greater good. Oh, you gotta be a... Oh, yeah, so... I saw this today. Uh, on Twitter. Uh, apparently, in the first... I think it was like... Two hours... Of the game's launch. Um... I think some streamer and a bunch of, like, of his followers uh, took out the hardest, um, what the fuck was it? The hardest outpost in Skull and Bones. Oh, wow. Uh... Yeah. Uh, enter... Oh, well, Captain Drunk. There. The boss man's pissed drunk off fine wines. Nearly shot me with his flint lock earlier. Hurt my feelings, he did. I am a king. I am John Sherlock. I'm, I'm John Sherlock. That wine, meant for the crew, mind you, was part of a hefty down payment. Some scheming French turncoats want to make a violent power grab for the regional office. So they hired Skurlock and his, uh... Persuasive ways to attack the Compagnie Royale Fort. Margareta, please. In this state, he couldn't steer a ship even if his dear old Margareta came calling. Don't go, Bart. Ah, oh, we're in a pickle now. We oh, need the God. leader on the gig. Skurlock's reputation will be in tatters. Only there was someone skilled enough to pass at him and helm his ship. Oh, cool. Two cannons. All right, blueprints for the cannons. Nine hundred gold to impersonate my captain. All right, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, you okay, Cutty? What are the odds? You look about Skurlock's size and disposition. Maybe not as raffish. There's a chance you could pull it off. But first, you'll need to look the part of a kingpin. Here. Take these spare garbs from Skurlock's wardrobe. Don't worry, it's fair game. He takes our wine, we take his clothes. <laughs> Once you're all dressed up, head out to where the ship's burnt, I'll make sure the crew's in on the Quartermaster's board. just like... <laughs> so I'm doing a quest to impersonate yeah. the captain. And then so they, they, he gives me the clothes, he's like, it's fair game. He steals our wine, we steal his clothes. We'll be our edge that roll. <laughs> Sherlock's jacket. Oh, okay, so I gotta equip his jacket. I don't know if it might be a bit different. I don't think he sticks fucking uh, fuses into his hair. Donning the right feathers? Uh -huh. Alright, let's see. Uh, equipment. Coats. There it is.
I really hope they put in Peg Lake. I expect I'll see you soon enough. Remain within the contract area. Where am I going? I'm going over there. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I have to put his coat on, okay. But I have, so like, Blackbeard's hat on. Cutthroat cargo hunt. Um, that's just... Evade your rivals, secure the treasure map by disembarking at the target outpost. Cutthroat is going to be dropped if limited is abandoned. Recommended rank 5 ships. Oh, oh I think that's the PvP event. But yeah, so I have the captain's jacket on but i have my mask on and blackbeard's hat on oh, so apparently i look like him no so never know the difference nope blackbeard why is your beard ginger shut up <laughs> it was always like that i call myself blackbeard to confuse my enemies yeah I also go by Big Dick to confuse the ladies. <laughs> but my dick's even bigger than that. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Turn it around on me! Because <laughs> my dick's even bigger than that. Because it's not big, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge, but they, you don't need to know that. Uh, yeah, fuck your butt job, that? bitch. We found precious metal. Oh yeah, so this actually made me laugh too. I saw this online. So with uh, apparently the next Caribbean Pirates of the Caribbean movie, they're apparently going to be incorporating some like um, Saint Anne. I think what is her name? Yeah, some, like, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. like a pirate. Uh, it's a ginger pirate. And she's... She's white with red hair. And she's being played by a black woman. And then, like, the, the guy in the video, he's like, so we know what the actual character looks like, what the person in real life looks like. And they're like, why are they not keeping towards the character and, and hiring like a white person or at least somewhat close to her? And like hiring, whoa, oh Jesus Christ, I have like, I think I'm gonna keep the captain's ship. God, God, this guy's got fucking 12 guns. I know he's got eight guns, never mind, I've read that wrong. Yeah, the thing is, is like, they're, the thing with pirates is there are pirates from everywhere around the globe. There are Asian pirates, there are black pirates, there's white pirates, there's fucking French, British, Spanish, yeah. you name it. Pirates of all, all the, why not just use one of those? I don't know. If you like, want to cast a black pirate, cast a black pirate. Yeah, or at make, least like. Make her someone else. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing, like, uh, like kind of bugs me. It's, like, when it's, like, you have an actual person that we know in history and seen, like, actual photos of is a specific skin color. Asian, black, whatever. At least try to, like, cast somebody towards that, like, that person. If not, then, like what you said, change it to a different person, then, to incorporate that character, like, that actor. Yeah, you could say they're inspired by... Yeah. Rather than a knockoff. And that's just fine, too. So stupid, I hate you shit like that. 
Like it's it's fine if it's like mythical creatures. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Like, who cares if Ariel is black? She's a fucking mermaid. But Anne Bonnie's a real pirate. A real person. A Brit, white with ginger hair. Yeah, she's just. A... I think she's uh, Irish. I think she was. But yeah, like. I think right. Yeah, it's like something like that. When it's a real actual person, like at least try to like go with like what the person is. Level. You spend sixty four more, and then it costs forty. So the. 25, 20 is 45, plus 12 is 47. I'd still need to spend another 13 to unlock that page and then 40 medals to get it. But, mission complete, so I'm gonna go back. Bam, so. <laughs> blame it. Skullock needs that shipment to pacify Dueling's demands. We should be ready for a fight, Captain. One befitting a kingpin. They actually did something really cool. I don't remember, like, Black Flag at all. But Anne Bonnie was in that, but so was her, like, I don't know if they were, like, actual sexual partners or if they were just, like, kind of pirate allies, but uh, Mary Reed was another one, and in, and this is true, uh, Mary Reed disguised herself as a man during her days of piracy at first. Um, I think she became a captain of the men, and, and they do that in Black Flag. Yeah, it's uh, Captain... Oh yeah, they do that because they make fun of her. Yeah. She disguised herself to scam her grandmother into believing that she was actually her like brother. And she just continued that disguise. She like became a soldier and she became like a like a merchant sailor and then she eventually turned to like piracy. Well, yeah, because back then it was um, seen as uh, bad luck to have a woman on board. I'm supposed to be okay. I am supposed to be doing that. I'm like, am I plundering this place? Regarding like, I don't know if there's any like female black pirates specifically, but. There definitely are male black pirates. I actually really like what they did with uh, Adewale in Black Flag. He was just your first mate at first. Oh, he was, yeah. Like, basically an escaped... He was an um, escaped slave. Slave, yeah. Freed by, uh, by you, I'm pretty sure. Or, I actually think he was freed by, um, the father of, what's her name, the Liberation pirate, the Liberation assassin, because her dad was an assassin too, and he was working on freeing slaves, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost certain. I think a lot of, like, the, uh, and I'm using air quotes, the slaves that he had at his, like, manor in New Orleans, were actually freed slaves that he kept as, like, you know, employees, but treated them very well. Well, probably. Because, like, at the time, it was pretty common for people to, of that, like, wealth to have slaves, and it'd be really suspicious if he didn't. So, he probably kept them on, both as part of his, like, describing of being a um, and also because he, he probably saved them. But yeah, her name was, um, Adeline, 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 something like that. Because, yeah, she and him meet in her story, I think, or his story, one of the two. It's free to cry, I think he meets her. Yeah, I never played the DLC. It was alright, it was shorter. Um, it was a lot more, like, condensed, too. Like, you start with, like, an okay ship. Um, with some okay upgrades. You still have upgraded the bunch too, but the map's a lot smaller. It's only like a chunk of an area. It's not really huge. And like, a lot of the mission styles are just repeated. Like, cause you're free in place, but a lot of it's just like, you have to 
but the story's cool. Huh. But yeah, he does meet up with her in that DLC. Like, she's doing the same thing. She actually disguises herself as a slave. I don't know if you played um, Liberation at all. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, she... That was uh, like the side one, wasn't it? Like New Orleans? Yeah, it's in New Orleans and, and a couple other spots. She doesn't sail as much. She does, but not as much as like in Black Flag and stuff. Very little. But you, um, as one of your missions, you actually pose yourself as a slave and get yourself captured on purpose to smuggle yourself into a plantation, I think it's Cuba. I want to say to investigate Templar activity on that island. So you're there working as a slave. So like, a, there's a whole like, mission line where you you can't use your assassin stuff and you can't like kill silently because you don't have your hidden blade. Huh. You have like a, you have a sugar cane knife. That's it. So you have to like make sure no one's watching you and stash bodies and stuff. It's a cool mission. Pretty damn like it. And you give a whip too. You give your whip there. I think when you kill one of the head slavers there to finally leave the end, then you get a whip. And you could use it. Huh. Hey, it wouldn't be good. I'm like 90% sure she gets a whip. It's pretty good though. Like, you can use this to run on trees and stuff, but you can also, uh, you can, like, whip guards and pull stuff out of their hand. Or pull them closer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I think you could do the same kill move that you could do with, uh, Connor when you had, like, the darts on the rope. If you're up yeah. on a tree branch, you can dart an enemy and he jumps off and it hangs them. I think the whip could do the same thing. You can, like, whip a guy. It like wraps around his neck and you jump down and it hangs him. And, he, and then she like pulls it off and he's dead. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, another player must have sank nearby. Oh yeah, thanks. It's a great reward. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. I got reward for like finding a missing person in Tartarus. It's an item called Homunculus. They're in Persona 5 as well. They're an item that automatically consumes if you're hit with a uh an ability that would auto kill you. Like the auto light um killers a comma. Mm-hmm. And stuff, yeah. If if you if you would die from one of those, it consumes the homunculus from the inventory automatically, and spares your life. I got four of them. They're great. The only problem is I can't save them, which sucks. I can't like stash them somewhere and just take them to boss fights because I would. So like sometimes I need to use skills and just get lucky. It's too bad. Um, what was it? Um, get ever posted on her. Facebook that she uh, defeated the uh, Reaper. Yeah, he's not that hard. You can also just like you can defeat him at like level fucking twenty if you just put the difficulty down to easy. No cheese method though, like in Persona Five. No, I yeah, you wait till like it's like sick. flu season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, where are they coming from? He's the hardest, honestly, in Persona 4 Golden. Oh my god, it's good. Like... 
I did end up beating him though. But it was it was a lot of work. Oh shit, don't I'll take that for sure. You don't wanna put on now. Come here, bitch. Oh. Damn it. I blew them up while I was trying to board them. Magic Talisman at 50, plus 50 SP. Hell yeah. Stop sending up flared. How'd that other one go? Is it behind me? Oh, it is. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. I just realized I had a freaking grenade launcher, basically. Or a mortar. At the very top. Hmm. You're going about. You're going about there. Come on, come on, come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Ah, oh, I hit the ash end of him. them Silver and gold. Don't waste the ammo. Turn to my ship. Oh, hey.
It gave me a taste of how to be a kingpin. I don't want to be a kingpin. Just for fun, defeat an enemy and leave the zone without looting. <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> this sucks. Now I have to use my little dinky ass ship. I'm <laughs> with that kingpin chip. I think it was awesome. Um. I'm okay. Yeah. Fiber, fiber. Ah. Primo Legend is calling for help. Uh, no ice. With that name, you should be able to handle anything. That's right, you assholes. Prayed my name. <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> You're the giant statue that Bender builds. Yeah. Remember, Remember me. me. <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> Why do you got snakes? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Just a oh, fucking casino. Check it out. <laughs> I like the episode two where he, he basically becomes a planet. Yeah. He's like floating in space, like the moss is growing on his body, and there's people on it. Yeah, on the front, and then people on the on his ash, and they're like, they don't they're get enough sun, and they don't get like their pra their praises are heard. We decided to help the non-believers with nuclear fire. <laughs> Have someone in the back just for a shot of glory and gain. Fine work, anyhow. The boss man's sobered up, and he's already plotting to strike further into the heart of Compagnie territory. I'm sure he'll want to share these plans with you. So head inside when you're ready. Who knows? Skirlock might even share some of the wine this time. Hmm, sure. Finally, a captain I can trust. Sweet. Are you shitting me? I just built a ship and I just got a blueprint for the next ship after. Alright. Oh, what a bum rat. <laughs> now make sport of my ships. They have a fucking, they have a culture festival in the game, and like you can attend it, I think. Um, I didn't. So there's another shit. Because I'm following a guide, right? Just like, for like a perfect game. 
Just so I don't have to do three fucking playthroughs. Our foe draws near Maybe I'll do like one and a half, two. Of the but, um... Met. I didn't go, but uh, it's so funny. It's like the teacher comes to you at like lunchtime, and she's like, "Okay, everybody, the afternoon classes will be canceled." And they're like, "Yeah, so you can clean up the culture festival mess." No. Oh God. We must lure him into a trap of our own making. Caradec will fall, and I trust your hand to deal with the blow. But have patience. I would hate to lose a good captain. The coast of Africa. Bears fruits yet unplucked. Hmm. Bring them to me, and I'll see Tulin plied. This port will stand. My lesser captains, I'll keep them here in the Red Isles. You will head off to the coast of Africa. Oh, well, I'll sweet, I'm off to the coast of Africa. Watch out for the Spectre. Get those goods coming. So my captain's I'll be a ship place. that helps people get from one location to another. Fair winds and a full hold. Alright, steal accommodations from auto merchants, set up new demands for exotic goods. Alright, cool. You need to have I'll steal accommodations. My bad, my oh no, I still have the captain's jacket on. <laughs> uh, I want to see the captain while wearing his jacket. <laughs> Just listen. Oh, that's right. You can't attend the culture festival because something happens. There's a different festival earlier you get to go to. I did go to that one. Oh, nice. What happened to that one? So the first one or the second one that gets canceled? Uh, the first one you went to. Uh, I took Mitsuru there. That's the you like redhead? The redhead, yeah. She's wearing like a kimono and you go eat, eat takoyaki with a... Uh, I guess wants to try it for the first time. <laughs> That's the robot. Yeah. The second one gets cancelled because of a typhoon. So you, um, type your last for like a day, so you miss a whole day, but you go to, you're walking home and you're approached by somebody, so you talk to them, so you get home and you're all wet from the rain, and then the next day you're sick, and that's how you get sick for like three days, four days. Hmm. Yeah, like, hey, that dude's got the same light kind I do. He's got a red hood. I think that'd be like the weirdest thing, probably the scariest Still thing of living in Japan is worrying us. about getting Best smoked. Yourself, like worrying about like the weather changing on a dime. So I unlocked this, the sloop, which is literally the next ship after the one I literally just built. <laughs> oh, mine's actually faster. Got 2,000 more ship hull. Brain strength. Brain strength is better. So, uh, this guy walks into a bar and he orders, uh, rum and coke. And the bun just says, bartender says, no problem, I got it. And he puts an apple on the table. And he's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, just trust me, take a bite. This guy takes a bite of one side and he goes, oh, well, it tastes like rum. He's like, yeah, and I've turned it around. He turns the apple around, takes a bite. That tastes like Coke. Amazing. Another guy walks into the bar and he says, I'll have uh, gin and tonic. No problem. Bartender pulls out an apple, puts it in front of him. Here you go. He's like, dude, ask for a gin and tonic. He's like, just trust me. Try it. So he takes a bite. He's like, oh, it tastes like gin. He's okay. Now turn the apple around. Takes another bite. Oh, that tastes like tonic. It's amazing. Third guy walks into a bar, and uh, his bartender says, what would you like to order? And the guy's like, listen, man, trust us, get anything you want. He has an apple that tastes like anything you could possibly order. 
the third guy goes, oh, yeah? And the bartender says, yeah, yeah, no problem. So the bartender says, or the, the guy says, okay, I want, do you got any pussy? Oh, the bartender God. says, no problem. Puts an apple on the table in front of him. Guy takes a big bite. Oh, God, tastes like shit. And I goes, you dummy, turn it around. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I heard that early, but you fucking laugh, dude. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's funny, but that's so wrong. You're eating the wrong side, dude. <laughs> We're coming into our own, eh? They put a plague next to a sewer. <laughs> and, oh god damn it, I'm a fucking like sliver from rank 5 on my ship. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Yeah, we're all thirty-eight. Oh, the range goes down, but my damage and my reload go. Yeah, you're 38 already. You're a 38. Oh, you're a 30. That's why. Yeah, okay. Still have some way to go to make your mark. Um. Okay, why not? Then I can do. Long gun, flooding, alright, Corvan. Front, oh, increases the front weapon damage by 10%, okay. Coming into our own, eh? Increases projectile speed. Ship cosmetics. Alright, yeah. The flare. Do I have that one? <laughs> what an awkward scene. My boy Junpei, <laughs> Wingman, let's go. Oh, Basically, you're cleaning up for like the festival, and uh, another girl enters the room who like you have a pretty high social ranking with. She's from the track team. Her name's Yuko, and uh, Yukari is there as well, the one from your team, the one who wears like the pink sweater. Yep. And uh, she's talking. She's like, oh, uh, something effective like. Oh, I haven't seen him talking about you. I haven't seen him in so long. I think we deserve some time together. And Yukari's like, what do you mean? Deserve some time together? <laughs> She's like, well, uh... And then another girl walks in who you also have a high social rank with. And she's like, oh, I was just in the other room. We need some more tape. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. I heard you were, uh, sick. But, uh... Miss Carijo told me that, uh... Yeah, you weren't feeling good. She's like, you should take time off of your, from your student council duties. I'll miss our walks home together. And the girls are like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and all the boys are like, oh? Just so they're jealous. And Jupe's like, oh, wait, uh, we should go over to this room and do some work. <laughs> oh, my God. She took one of the girls away. This is like an awkward moment. He's looking out for you. <laughs> Oh 
Why do I have ivory set up? Nice, all the boys are taking one off. So Junpei took Yukari off to work on something, and your track team buddy took Yuka with him because she's track team manager. <laughs> and then the other student council guy is taking the other girl away. <laughs> this. Plunder Laconia. Oh, okay, over there. I like you. I get it, buddy. Oh. Yeah, the guy's like, good thing that culture festival was canceled. You would have mauled no matter who you picked to go with. Oh, shit. It's like the fucking dating scene in Persona 5. You date all the girls and show up at Christmas. Or Valentine's Day, whatever. Yeah, they show up Valentine's Day and they all kick your ass because they're just like. Why? Who's she? Who's she? Who's she? Why is she here? I never had that cutscene because I committed to one girl. I did. <laughs> that was my first playthrough too. Because I was like, I didn't know that was gonna happen. So I was like, oh, cool. Like I can date all these women, and well, yeah, the game's just like, yeah, you can, but there's uh, consequences to your actions. See, I do that because that's what happened to me in Persona 4. So I, I kind of had like an idea that that was going to happen. So I made sure I didn't make that mistake when I played 5. Fuck, I did. I made that mistake. And it was worth it because it was hilarious. Just to no, watch. Excuse me, it wasn't, it wasn't Persona 4. I learned that lesson from The Witcher. <laughs> oh. If you tell the two sorceresses that you love them each, they tie you up and do a bed. Yeah, I saw that, and they leave you, and they don't talk to you after that. I'll always go with Trish. It sucks, too, because it kind of ruins like the, the what they consider the canonical ending of the game. Which is, I think, uh, Geralt ends up with Yennefer. I think so, yeah. Alright, Linda, the uh, some outpost. What was this one? Well, that's cast iron. I gotta go over here, anyways. So, I'll plunder that outpost. Actually, I should have just fucking fast traveled. This chip doesn't move any faster. I'm gonna smoke into the ass end of it. There we go. You're lucky. You know what? Called the sea people. T men. <laughs> I think I'm going. Oh god, I. Uh, can I fit? Nope. Alright. Alright, crew. Back the ship up. I had to go down turn. Hmm. 
only have like two thousand cannonballs, so it's nine nine nine. <laughs> then the bombar uh the bombardard um uh, fuck what that was called. Yeah, the bombard bombs. I only got six hundred. I gotta get the blueprint so I can make them. Though, now after using the kingpin ship there, I might throw on cannons on the back. Those are pretty freaking fun. Hi, kitty. Are you crunking out of my lap? Oh, what you eating? Crackers and hummus. <laughs> Try not to drop it. <laughs> oh, that's the East Indian River. Alright, uh, up the wood that way. With each strike, I'm smart, I'm putting two together so if it falls, it lands both sides of cracker nut hummus. <laughs> it will find a way to land on the hummus. This is my sister. She likes hummus. It's so good. I think I will only ever try it once. That was because of my um, uncle on my dad's side. I think he was like, he had it. You're like, what's different kinds, but this is the one I prefer just standard old garlic hummus. There's not much to it. It's actually really easy to make at home. I don't, because I'm lazy as fuck, but... <laughs> so you know how to make it, I just don't want to make it. Well, because you got to blend it and shit, and I don't want to have to clean a blender. I just buy a jar of it over there. Hmm. It's like chickpeas, garlic, lemon, and juice, I should say. And spices. And blend it up till it's like a paste. Makes good chip dip too. Hmm. What the hell is this? To Rogue's William. Oh, it's in. It's called Williams. I think it's part of my mission. Do I have a mission to kill Williams? He's got a thing over his head. I was trying not to do that. Oh, I killed Williams. I had a, a icon above his head. I'm guessing he's a bounty. Like a mission icon. You just killed him. I, I didn't kill him. He um, another player I think killed him, or he just 
the ship was on fire too much. <laughs> I was fighting like two other NPC ships, so I just came along and was helping. I was like, I was waiting. I'm like, if they shoot me, I'm shooting them. Oh, all right, yeah, because they're no longer on the king pick, kingpin ship. They don't look nice. They're all in tattered rakes. Is that what you get people to yell all about? They just like start screaming. I was like, what the fuck are you guys screaming about? <laughs> oh. There's stuff over here. Oh, three people. Oh my god, how did three people die? Four people. I don't know, three pe Yeah, four people. I've been noticing like the big things of um like floating um cargo are mm -hmm. other players like it's their cargo that they dropped when they died makes sense yeah like you can't interact with it but it's neat to see it like you can like um if you use your spyglass it'll tell you like kind of what's inside oh i didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to fire. Oh, apparently I committed to it. Oh, that's the last of my helmet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't don't hurt me, I'm innocent. Oh, I have to turn. Yeah, I just literally came across Four of them grouped up together, so I'm guessing those four got murdered by something. Merchant ship. Brigitte. Small shipwreck. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> you can, um, when you have free time in the game, use your cell phone, and there'll be messages of people who, like, are, are available to hang out. Yeah. Or, like, businesses that are open for you, like, eat at or work for or whatever. Just making the game easier, like, give you suggestions and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hang out with this guy, so I can go to warp to him. I'm in the same fucking room, just, like, ten feet over. <laughs> it basically just didn't even move my body, it just turned me around. It's like, hey, you want to hang out? Sure, where are you? It's like, I'm right behind you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Watch where you're driving! Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, they're shooting each other, okay. I was like, I, I, I passed like two ships, next day I started hearing with cannon fire, and I was like, what the hell you went on? 
Ah, uh, the town. Join by me, I'm here to plunder your ass. But first, I will interact with you. We have to sell. Okay, you got all deck. Can I sell you anything that I don't need? Flooding cannon. That. <clears throat> okay, nothing really of interest. Blunder! I fucking live for this! <laughs> <laughs> to plunder all I hear is, I fucking live for this! Reload my cannon faster, you ingrates. I don't pay you to slack. Actually, I don't play, pay you anything, you but pay still. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna stay to slack is like that. This is why I don't. Yeah, this is why I don't pay you. Those towers. Okay, I'm sailing out of the way. Ah. Hey, what about my ship? Oh god. I'm just trying to do this like first person. <laughs> I can't fucking like tell how to time where I'm even sailing into. By the way, shippy, or you're gonna get it. There we go. Where's the other one? Alright, oh, can I get that? Oh. oh, I'm too close. There we go. Cause like, when you're taking down a city, there's like explosives that are kinda like beside the towers, but it's hard to hit them. the ship around. Follow sails. Bat her up. There we go. Oh god. Ah, I'll take all your plunder. Thank you very much. Nobody's coming to help you. You're all screwed. Oh. Enemies are inbound. I'll make you fuckers regret coming into this sea. <laughs> I 
I just rammed this small little ship and just basically destroyed it. Alright, let's go get my loot. think you can enter this zone and I can totally miss all my shots apparently Oh, there's a different ship. Sorry, I'm fighting the wrong ship. Rabbit speed! Oh, yeah. Rabbit speed almost hit me. Good. Throw fireballs. Don't. Throw them at our own ship, you dumbasses. You okay, kitty? Take it all. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, sorry. Oh. Well, we came into the battlefield. I did not mean to start a fight with these people, but they came into my area. They're completed. Fuck yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> my crew's like, I'll send you my regards to your family. <laughs> We're out of cannon off that. And uncut diamonds. Alright, they're gonna sink these bastards even more. Wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Well, they can take notice of my ass while I flee. I mean, tactically sail away. Alright, let's see if I sail there. I can use it as a fast travel. There you go, you ink great motherfuckers. I'll feed you finally. Thank God they do not have a food meter. 
Or as far as I know, they don't. God, the further I get, the more it fucking costs me to fast travel. Sailing into the Although, who the hell am I paying for fast travel? King Triton, God of the Sea. Apparently. Oh, that dude's looking for a group. I came into town, and I was just like, what the hell is going on? Like, why does this guy have a magnifying glass above his head? It's another player looking for a group. I bleed iron and shit steel. What can I smith for you, Captain? Um, smith. Sweet. Plundering is a nasty business, eh? Damn the blood. catch you, Captain. Oh no. Yeah. Brigard. Brigand. What's this? Heavy. Oh, just 200. You crafted anything now? Alright, I still have to get blueprints and shit. Twenty three flooding. All right, found in the East Islands, purchasable by the smuggler. Okay, to two hundred and fifty armor. Rather Bristol rain than this infernally. Mortar bombs, sea fire oil crates. Bring more coin, and I'll smith you more steel. What will it be, Captain? More uh, cargo, more navigation, or more firepower? I want more firepower. Understand, it's 700 cargo. Bombardier. Oh, it's got an uh, artillery can, so I can fire mortars off. Oh! Lack of details schematics. Okay. It can either be purchased. I'll oh, purchase from the shipwright in Taco Penjira. Uh, given to me as a contact reward. Contract reward. Oh, that's neat. And it's a starting level 5 ship. Can I buy from you anything of interest? No. What can I sell you? Alright, so I get 14 for that cannon. For the carpenter. What if I go to the blacksmith? Is it is he still gonna give me 14 or is it gonna be more? Okay, so it's still 14, so it doesn't matter where you sell your items. Cannibal crate, iron husk crate. You're not so bad for a road. Feels good to get decent meals. To what? What the hell? Um. Um, uh, 
Where is it? Where the hell did I just pick up? I just picked up a thing to Poppy. Or to Papa. He's like, um, I'm sorry, as far as I know, I don't have kids in this game yet. Oh yeah, I can open this. Some renegade stuff. Oh, there's a letter I picked up. Unless you've been extra time invitation. Oh, cool. Nothing like getting an, uh, a letter in the mail from unknown. Signed, a friend. <laughs> Makes me really want to read it. <laughs> How do you know your address? Yeah. How do you know where I live? Who's delivering these letters to pirate outposts? That is the other big question. And I love how they always send a chest. Repair Bombard 2. What the hell? So what? Do I repair this ship when I'm destroying it? Or do I repair my own ship when I'm shooting other people? Restores Hall Health of a friendly ship within 35 meters. Oh, cool. So I can shoot my friends and heal them? <laughs> Uncut diamonds. Yeah, pick up litter. The investigation cursed ship stolen. The bigger the ship, the heavier the burden, and your fleet grows. Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to keep on me, so I'm just gonna throw everything into my warehouse. I think that's mission related. And transfer to warehouse. I was, I was gonna say, thank God the warehouse has like a huge ass, like no limit. And then I noticed 170 at the bottom right corner. I have the flooded can. Actually, I'll stick those cannons into the warehouse so I don't have to hold on to them. My warehouse is yours, Captain. Mm, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see. What are these cannons like? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Seems like you're starting to get the hang of things. Manage me ship. Weapons, so... Oh, yeah, so it's a healing, so it repairs up. It puts my fucking ship up to level 5, but... Reloads, okay, is the same. Range is the same, but I go from damage to healing. Uh, I like my damage. I know we can do better. Thirty, thirty, eight, thirty. Yeah. I shall sadly stick at level four for right now. What's this do? So it's one serve damage per second. Well, uh, oh, cool. I can add like a uh, health regen. All right. 
Alright, lady, I need all those cannons. Keep coming back. I'll have to read your story. You and I don't think I have you on. I don't leave you on. I don't think I have you on. Transfer I'm to cargo. From my days at Lenny. Sell safe and kept in. No matter if a ship's a leaky old. Boop, 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 boop. It would be nice when I go to my warehouse if it tells me what I have on my ship, so I don't accidentally unequip it. Here, that was quick. You must enjoy my surly company then. You, you, yeah. Let's get a sell this crap. Bring more coin, and I'll smith you more steel. Ooh. Where are you fine, lady? Even what do you do with this? A liking to you, Capitan. But then again, he also likes to lick his own arse. Oh, well, thanks. Apparently the uh, refiner, her dog, took a liking to me. And apparently he likes licking his own ass. Okay. Yeah. I can't do it. Oh, she can't do anything with the, uh, the cut diamonds. Then what the fuck am I supposed to do with the diamonds? I'm craving. Ah, sailors boast about their ship size all day, but it's how you steer that matters. Okay. Barky. Oh, I had to speak to the barky. Okay. I think the bar's over here. Never mind, there's another barkeep. Yep, one more. Oh, never mind, I'm above it now. This place is confusing. Where's the bar? Oh, I found it. Caddy! Hello! There's a few new faces recently, but yours is the face everyone is talking about. I don't care. Let me have your Welcome cat. Welcome to Saint Anne. This oasis of joy is Le Pont Muet. An odd name for a lively place, I grant you. <laughs> I'm the owner, but also the barkeep. Mixing and making drinks is my passion. Among other things. <laughs> If you're adventurous, try one of my blends. If you just want the best rum in all the seven seas, you can get that too. Come in, put your feet up, and let your guard down. Enjoy some peace and pleasure. A word to the wise, though. I can Make barely hear the fucking cutscene because somebody outside is shooting off fireworks in the I game. Hmm? <laughs> you understand me, Galbi? Good. I'd listen to me doing all the talking. You must be thirsty. What's your poison? I'll take poison. Uh, ooh. Only my oasis of cool drinks and thirsty travelers. Oh, she's the, the black shade. market. Well, what do you drink? This big barrel is uh, decorative. Tell me the truth. Oh. Real business, eh? <laughs> I like that. You know what you want. All right, Galbi. This is how it works. Before our little family, there were some big fish around here eating all the little fish. That's not good for business. So, hmm. we offered a service that evened the odds. Now. Everyone has a chance. You might still get eaten, mind. 
But you might get fed too, and fed well. All we ask in return is a reasonable one-time donation. And discretion. So, that's it. Oh god, it. how big is this fucking donation? What do you say? Are you sure you want to turn the golden wheel? Hmm, do I want to be part of the black market? Small favors paid the way to great opportunities. Enter the smuggler's hideout. Um, sure. 2,500. That is not a small donation, but I have the money. The entrance through the barrel. I'll meet you inside and give you a grand tour. Welcome to the helm. Here begins your journey to become the richest pirate enterprise in the Indian Ocean by following... Invitation, you will learn everything you need to know to run a s successful smuggling business. All right. Slavery, here I come. <laughs> gonna smuggle them humans. Come again. But I'm gonna make it look like I'm taking them on a pleasure cruise. Steady. Uh, duty free. Discover the smuggler's hideout. Wow. It looks like a shit show. And how is it hidden? Like, how does nobody actually find this shit? It's not that all fucking big of an island. Now see our supply <sighs> network. It shows all that's happening in the Indian Ocean. Information is our thing. The helm has eyes and ears everywhere. If it's not here, it's not out there. I promise you, opportunities abound from outsiders to locals and All right, one suggestion I want to make. Change your goddamn name. The helm doesn't really strike fear into people's names. It doesn't sound like a really good secret organization. The supply network. Chase some leads and scrape a few holds. Come back to me here with any sugarcane you find. Supply Network gives you intel to gather sugarcane and other helm materials. You know, the rise of the old ones over, over time expires. Check back for you to leave, not to miss. Do you need to accept or, or registered in the helm tab journal? Okay. Price per unit, 12. Oh, I actually have to go in that location anyways. Neat. It's like becoming a pirate legend, but actually a whole lot faster and less complicated. Now, how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, that door. I know where pirates and all, but does anybody know what a fucking broom is? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, there's wood that's, like, all broken we could use for kindling. Oh, hello. Pick up letter. Oh, from the abyss. Okay. Okay. Yes, working hard. Working hard or hardly working. The crown would shine so bright that it blinds. Um, what time? Two thirty. What is it I want? Oh, right. I wanted to look up the. Those quests. Hey, you set or not? Lady, if you don't shut the hell up, I'm gonna throw you off the goddamn ship. Uh, 
where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait, it's part of the pack. That's right. Unlocked by the Bloody Bones Legacy, oh, by completing. Okay, and Ashley Coaster. Okay, uh, Bloody Bones Legacy. That's why I want to know where the fuck that is. Completing bloody bones, I guess. Okay, I need to... The Ashen Connor. Okay, so that's a pre-order bonus. <laughs> It's that one. Hmm. And then bloody something. struck a deal with a companion to build pride. They say the kingpin betrayed his own kind. I wonder hmm. if it was true. Shut on over. Bloody bones that you see that's it. Victim ships crash near oh. Ship crashed. Oh, wait. Ashen. Okay, there's that. Touch ground us. Crash near a horrible reality of our settlement. What the fuck is that? Just howl sentiment. Hmm. So I want to get the the bloody bones mission done, so I can get the uh, care the animal. You'd have enough to buy a full fleet of warships. Okay, 
episodes. We blame our victims. Wait. Can I just bribe that chick to tell me what I want to know? <laughs> I heard the jewels on the crown would reflect the moonlight. When the unborn king Lanier was usurped, he escaped with the biggest prize of all his jewel encrusted crown. There are whispers that he still roams around the coast of Africa. If I oh. had a ship of my own, I'd start at the Great Bakuta, seek the old king out. Oh, I literally just paid like 150 silver to learn about some crown. Some jewelry crown. Cool. Embark. Yeah, so it was... Yeah, complete the bloody bones to unlock the animal. Do I even have a pet on my ship right now? I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be. Yep. Well, I want that kitty. Also, where the hell is the snow leopard? Oh, yeah, that's the King Ping one. Oh, I don't have my lever. I thought I had my lever equipped. Oh, I forgot to equip him. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to go that far up. Set tail. Hmm. Alright, so I'm looking for... Near Havel Settlement. Okay. No, that's just that. Okay, I thought that was. Guard Tower. Oh. Oh, it's all the way the hell down there. Okay. That, I think, is a level three to get in. That large shipwreck. Um, disembark. Let me go back to the carpenter to see if I can build the level three stuff. Tell me, Kappa defend. My hands can craft you great. The hell? Pair kits, signals, megaphone. Oh, it increases the reload time. No, I don't want that. Missing ingredients pickaxe level three. Fine seal. Casting sand. Marauder. Yeah. Casting. I need casting sand. My Baba taught me woodwork. Hmm. Trap blueprints. I need casting sand for basically everything I want to find. Say. Oh, if I cast that blueprint, will that. Okay. It prints up both good. Whoa, what's this? Oh, all this stuff. Cool. For the tables. Mending. May your travels lead you to warm sands. Alright, where am I? Oh, how can I get that? Up 
there. There, okay. Of a cute same place too, okay. Alright, so where's a good way, fast way to travel? Fast travel over there and just sail up. Luck can only get you so far. Oh, Oh, that's what this does. Okay, never mind. Uh, get me the hell out of here. Yeah, it says, oh my god, it is fun. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, yeah. Go back, go back. <laughs> I meant to fast travel. Luck can only get you so far. You need to mm, fast travel. Really It's gonna cost me almost 500 gold, damn it. Or 500 silver. <sighs> I want to sail upwards. I just had to scoop the cat over there. there. I got my... Oh, my mother-in-law, my dad, and uh, my aunt coming over tomorrow night. So we all scoop the cat there now and... Get it done? Get it done, yeah. Yeah, I did all that today. Vacuumed the mom, cleaned up the place. I would like to vacuum in there, but it's too late. Everyone's asleep. Yeah, we kind of worried until I have the vacuum running at like three, almost two thirty in the morning. Yeah. I have a hammerhead shark sailing beside my ship right now. Or swimming beside my ship. I'm like, I have my spyglass out and just like. Just looking around, trying to uncover stuff. And I just noticed something in the water. <laughs> it's freaking hammerhead. Bar three. Alright, so you are up there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's mountains. Sailing right into the wind. So 
I'm going like so going super slow. <laughs> Capitan wants it all, and we didn't get what the fuck I wanted. God damn it! I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the cannon. I'll take the repair kits. And somebody else can have all that crap. I don't want it. Hell yeah. Oh, it's only one casting sand, okay. Lady, I didn't care to ask for your life story. <laughs> we might be on this ship together, but I don't really care. <laughs> well, seeing that we're on this ship together, you want to get some hacky packy? Ride the captain's mast. That's done at least. Oh, okay, so I can get both. Oh, I only need two for casting sand. And then I can make the sleep. And have even a more devastating ship. Hmm. I see any of them was saying, I'm fucking destroying them.
así de... The good hope is getting... Oh. Oh my god, the fucking flamethrower. I just watched a burner. Don't, don't mind me. I, I, I'm, you just go on your merry way. I don't need to be. Yeah, I get like a flamethrower on the front of the ship. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Actually, you get one in the tutorial, do you not? Um, not far as no. Maybe like oh, in, no. I think in the closed beta, you did. No, I don't think enough. There's that game called King of Seas. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get one in that game to start. I was playing that actually, like, not long ago. It went on sale on Switch for, like, under 10 bucks. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. If I even just played a few times, it's fine with me. It's a good game, but it really suffers on Switch performance wise. Yeah, yeah, like, they're not only... on uh, PlayStation, I think. Yeah, I know, just tell me about it. But it, 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 it's, um,. It, it, I'd say performance wise is okay, but playing it on Switch in handheld is awful. It's just so tiny. <laughs> and like, I play mostly on the handheld on Switch, so. Oh, I'm gonna drum button. I wanted to interact, not plunder. I need your fucking sand. Please tell me you have more than goddamn one. Never mind. Yeah, don't need casting sand for you. Need casting sand for you. Year four, so I need two, four, five, six. All right, so I need six. So I have to find either somewhere where I can buy it or mine it. I think it for you. I get two from you if I take if I plunder your ass. Ah, uh, tra oh, there are trade routes this way. Casting sands. Uncut, uncut. Ooh, sugar cane. <laughs> hey, hey, where the fuck did you go? So, what the hell is the point of coming over here? Oh, I think because it has that weird like symbol now. I think it's a smuggler to den. I 
think. I sold my last trade to the previous part. Kawan, your face looks familiar. Uh, this is why I'm I knew yeah. I recognized you when you landed ashore. You're lucky that Yanita favors you. Don't waste this opportunity, Kawan. The wares we procure are hard to come by, and most will be gone in the blink of an eye. If you take too long to decide, Captain, you'll miss out on a good deal. <sighs> hmm. Acquire silver, deliver silver. Oh yeah, no, I want to keep talking to you. I wasn't dead. Game, I want to see what you want to buy. I have other matters to attend to. I, oh, God damn it! I have goods from the coast of. I wanted to see what you wanted. She had to buy and sell, but I clicked on her mission, and it freaking wouldn't let me interact with her anymore. What here? Uh, I'm just exploring the Indian Very Ocean. Few pirates travel for pleasure when there is money to be made. The Indian Ocean is too dangerous for leisure voyages. The Sohari have been attacking the African coast. Were it not for the Confederation, they would have conquered Saint Anne by now. We are all that's left between the Soha Empire and your freedom. Yet not many from the south are aware of our sacrifices. Go on with your journey if you must, but stay away from Sohari territory, or you'll regret it. Oh, nothing like being threatened. The leader of the camp I'm on, she's just like telling me about how her people are the ones that are defending St. Anne, so like the starting zone. She's like, not many people know that we do that. She's like, but if you go into this area that we call our territory, we'll destroy you. I was like, oh, okay. Ah, oh, excuse me. I know we can do better. All right, so what do I gotta do now? Uncut diamonds. Yeah, deliver the uncut diamonds. To the helm. Acquire ivory. I'm supposed to take these diamonds. Luck can only get you so far. You need to keep hunting, stealing, rolling. Oh, okay. So let's take them there. Treasure scurlock and tealing are lasting after. Alright, what are you? A Wana warship in the distance! A Dumbug! What's that? Captain, I see a Dumbug! Treasure map, cannonballs.
Hey, I only have one more. How did I lose so much repair kits? Oh, it's repair kit the three. No, oh, yeah, I guess he I guess the diamonds are already. Oh, casting inside. Find it. Wait. Okay. Bye. How many do you want, Brad? Well, it's six. I'll purchase all three of that. Chasing me. Okay, is it not? It's gonna say I'd have to fuck up the ship if they're chasing me. Alright, where was that smoke there? over there. Exactly 500 coins just to fucking fast travel. Chance to bomb the cross at the
Pues, ¿eh? Wait, did I do it? Oh, wait. I'm gonna go with that. She's already dead. is the king of deceit that's how he's got there in this go. a good fight you have some talent i'll give you that make merry while you can Precious member. If greed's a sin, you're the devil himself. <laughs> Blood show silver here you go. You avoided the spectre and got the goods. You made Chulin happy, saved the pirate round in this port. Yeah, yeah, I, I avoided that guy even though I just went to a different port and bought the items and came back. <laughs> Chulin and his pigs will squeal for more. The pirate rounder. A mere service to their whims. And yet, it is the only way you can make coin and live long enough to spend it. Nothing else works. I've tried. I've starved. You see, I left home barely a lad. Why? <laughs> Father was a severe man. The mother died. He and his lash left me no choice but to escape. I took to the streets. I begged what I could and stole what I couldn't. The point is, I was cut down before I had a chance to grow. And here, I am chief of trade. But I am still not entirely free on the lash. When Chulin and the pirate ram call, I must heed. If I grasp the helm, and deviate from course, only ruin awaits. Yet stay put, my fate is not my own. Leave me alone. I wish to think. Okay. Basically just telling me that like his dad beat him, now he Keep wants me to... Keep your powder dry. <laughs> Leave him alone. I got new cosmetic stuff. They don't have what it takes. Uh, Carpenter. Your business is yours, but I hear very bad things about the Pirate King. Wait, what? Oh. Coral bars are issued. Oh, should I can make the crowbar bar four? Fuck it, why not? And I can make the pickaxe four.
Um. I have a spyglass. But I can't upgrade my spyglass. Because apparently I don't have a spyglass. Well then get a spyglass. I, yeah, it's like... I, I don't have the spyglass level 1, but I have the spyglass level 1. I am so lost. I need to acquire the spyglass. <laughs> oh, it's looking hot. I has right now. At least the heat's on really high. Well, at least you're nice and toasty warm. It's too toasty from the sweat. <laughs> Deal reception. All right, I gotta take that to the trick. Open chest. What I get? Some skin. Some skin. No, just crap. Um, oh, right, you gotta talk to her. Huh, like how I joined the smugglers, went to the captain, he's like, oh, so you joined the smugglers? It's like, oh, apparently they're not that secretive. What's your poison today? Uh, some Yo some... ho, Galvi! You've done your first <sighs> job. This calls for a drink, but one job is hardly enough to die rich, eh? Come to me when you're ready for more. Er. Brutus, I ate a. Alright. Sugar cane is easy to find, but turning it into something worth selling, now that's the hard part. Meet me in your office and I'll teach you the tricks of the trade. Well, I know the other one. Best wishes, friend. Good. <laughs> no Come good day. It. <laughs> They're a good lot, most of them, and they make the best rum in the Indian Ocean. The distillery here turns your larceny into profit. Put plainly, you bring a sugarcane you've liberated, and we transfigure it. White Skull Rum, we call it, and it sells as easy as it drinks. It fetches top price from the Red Isle to East Indies. That quality isn't easy. So leave your sugar Meh. cane with us and get back out there. Return when we've had time to work our magic. Oh, cool. Refine sugar cane into white skull rum. Use your refinement time wisely to gather more sugar cane or deliver your product. God, why do I feel like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto right now? How long does it take? It's gonna take... It's gonna take nine minutes.
When you're ready to sell, you want the best deals for your goods. That's where the order registry comes in. The order registry is where we keep information on all our clients. Oh my god, this is basically just like Grand Theft Auto. Fucking when you're selling your coke. Your Try to buy some sugarcane with your juicy payment on the way back. That way you can keep the distillery working and making profit while you're off making your mark. Don't forget to check the supply network before you head out. There are fortunes there just waiting for you to make them. My goody. She displays orders for various clients. Fill in order will generate great profit, crucial infamy, but if you want such rewards, man. I'll be able to use it. I'll make you the turn. As soon as you sail out of the den, stay alert for the by road fleets. Fight or fleet, otherwise you could lose your Uh okay, yeah, so it's just like fucking Grand Theft Auto, but you don't have to worry about other players, you have to worry about other NPCs trying to attack you and steal your stuff. Um Thank you. <laughs> All right. I had to consult the devil's drink. I say it's heaven. Twenty barrels at Fort Lewis. I don't know if we've even done 20 barrels yet. What's doing today? What's it? What if I had upgrade this shit to make it go faster? Row. Okay, um... What do I get for the rewards? Just infamous for me. My lucky. I've got something for you. Oh. Huh. Rise ranks of the help. Your ambition has served you well, but you will need to guard it. Top to bottom, each member's loyalty is only to themselves. These dregs will pick you clean while shaking your hand. Not for the <laughs> business the helm brings. I'd have turned them out long ago. If I don't need taste from me, I'll These kill are them. These of great infamy, and, and they own leagues of allies. I'd love to watch you slaughter the lot. <laughs> For now, the helm brings great riches. But those profits slow, and it will be open war again. I 
Fighting another boss in Persona. Oh, remember fighting this one last time in my, my other playthrough and it was pretty tough. Oh, what do we get? Steering wheel, some other thing. What's this? I got a base one. Construct. Consist of hits decrease reload time by 5. Share for 5%. Out to a maximum of 50%. The F is reset after 10 seconds. Karadek claims to control half my organization. He's got a noose around my balls, and he yanks it ever tighter. Rats infest my ranks, and you, Kali, will help me define who they are. My agents, the very best of them, collect whispers and assets, and then bury them deep. You are to find the stash and recover the items. Among them, should be the list of rats. Now, I am handing you a blade. You can use it to release the noose, or cut me open. Huh. Let's see. Should I tell him I'll stand with him, or should I tell him he has, he has, if he keeps paying me, I'll stand with him? Just stand with them for free, fuck it. Alright, I'll stand with money. you. Yeah, I'll stand with you with what, with what comes. And he's like, he's he's just telling me that, like, if, um, he just gave me a knife, and he's like, telling me, that, like, you can either set me free or gut me now. It's all in your hands, as he was telling me, like, um, I have to go find the list of the rats, so I'm guessing he's probably on it. Stay greedy, Cuddy. Man, keep calling me Cuddy. I'm going to regret my decision. <laughs>